Good morning, happy January 18th, and welcome back to the Leaf Riders of Renwood, where yesterday we ran into a, what appeared to be a cart or a stand that was being attacked by some bugs. And we had to choose how we wanted to act, and we chose to try to be tactical and we took a defensive stance behind a rock. We also were able to loot some treasure and we got a nimble cap, which lets us add a d4 to a dexterity roll. So because of our tactical decision yesterday, we get to add plus one to all of our defense rolls today. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So we will tear this off. And as expected, we do have a combat. So we've got Thursday, January 18th, 2024, which is Thorns Day in deep winter. And as we can see, we are over there casting some magic and dealing with these insects. It says, the insects turn their attention towards you. They buzz and chirp aggressively as they attack. All right. I'm doing a quick scan here to see if there's any potential loot, although since we just looted this area yesterday, I'd be surprised if there was treasure. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay. So now we do the combat. So uh, we can remind ourselves we do have our... Uh, spell points that we could use and uh, the spell that we have is chaos surge which uses one spell point and when we do we get to add our wisdom to all of our uh, damage rolls so on the page so we could uh, definitely consider using that um, but our damage is already decent and looking at the enemies they don't actually have that much health so I think we probably will just save it and not use that. So we have our first enemy. So let's go ahead and roll our attack. And we are plus two to attack here. Okay, so that's a 12. So that is a uh, 14 total. So attack 14. Okay, and then we will roll damage, which is a d10, and this is, what is this called? It's our arcane bolt. Okay, we rolled eight damage, and then we will roll our defense roll, and we get to add plus one and plus one, so plus two to our defense roll, so only a six. But our defense isn't going to matter for Insect 1 because it has 8 defense, 5 health, 11 attack, standard damage of 2, and partial damage of 1. So our attack of 14 definitely hits, and our 8 damage is enough to vanquish it. So we can go ahead and move on to Insect number 2. Let's roll our attack. Okay, we rolled a 12, same as last time, so we add plus 2 for a 14. And then we roll damage. Okay, so we only rolled a 1 for damage. Then we roll our defense roll. And we rolled, oh, we rolled a natural 20. So that's a 22, but that's just a, a guaranteed success there. Um, but we also get a boon that we could use on any future rolls. So we can't retroactively use that for, like, the attack or something. But let's note down our boon here. So now we have to decide. We could use a spell point to try and add to our damage now, and we would get to add it to the next one as well. Um, enemy 2 has a defense of 11, so we do hit, 
but it has a health of four, and we're only doing one. It has a attack of 10, and with our defense we <laughs> of 22, uh, we are definitely just taking the partial damage. The normal damage is 2, and the partial damage is 1. So it's only 1 damage, but it also feels like we should use our spell points when we can. And this one, if we, if we hit, you know, uh, 3 or 4 on the die, we do... Uh, kill it so we have a 50% chance of of this actually just uh, just killing it so let's go ahead and do that so we will go ahead and use our chaos surge once so we'll use this spell points here oh it's adding it's not a die it's adding our wisdom modifier excuse me so in that case we probably should not because it doesn't actually make a difference for some reason i had in my head that this was adding a d4 this one is not though this one is adding our wisdom modifier so in that case there is no point in using this i think i had that in my head because of the boon we just got which is adding a d4 but that can't be used for damage rolls that can only be used for d20 rolls so we will not do that we will just take the damage and that's not all that bad as I said we go down from our max of 11 we go down to 10 okay I believe this is the first combat we've actually taken any damage in though all right and then insect number three we roll a d20 and that is an 11 so we add two for a 13 Let's note that down here all right, then we make our damage roll. We rolled nine, which is quite a bit. And then our d20 plus defense. And <laughs> another natural one. So that, I say another, we didn't actually roll a natural one. We rolled a one on damage, uh, which I mean, I guess is a natural one, but on a d10, not a d20. So that is, it's a failure regardless, but we'll, we'll add our modifier anyway, putting it at three. Um, so, insect number three has ten defense, four health, nine attack, two standard damage, and one partial damage. So our attack of thirteen hits, and our nine damage is more than enough to vanquish it. So, we had, it typically says that you have one round to to attack the enemies. It doesn't actually say that this time, but it does say if you did not kill all the insects, they give up and flee. So, I, I, yes, I'm sure it's just the one round as is standard. And because we killed two enemies, we get to collect a D4 of Amber. So let's do that. Three. All right. So let's go ahead and change this two to a five. We've got five. So we probably reclaimed some of that amber that they stole from the, the cart that we found. All right. Well, all told, still a pretty successful combat, I would say. We took a point of damage, but that's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and uh, erase this bonus, since it is officially now not relevant, since we finished the January 18th page. All right. And I expect we will now arrive at Crown Spire tomorrow, and we will see what we can do once we're there. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.